Great stuff. Okay. Nicole, how's it going? Look at Friday. <laughs> Good stuff, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Whoever is on right now, Jiwan, I see you tuned in. Erika, how are you going, guys? It's a Friday. I hope you're all celebrating. It's all amazing from this end. My name is Prosper Taruvinga, by the way, founder and CEO of Live Long Digital. And if, if this is your first time tuning in, I want to welcome you to this explosive 30 minute episode of the Lunch and Learn. Okay, so I think today we're talking about how you are going to get your first 10 customers. And I see Steven Snedden is in the house. Thank you so much and congratulations on all the work that you've been doing lately. It's all amazing to watch, okay? So, um, obviously, now that we've got a really, really big platform, thank you so much for the support. Um, I now have a mandate that every uh, third week or every, um, yes, every third week of the month, I have to put out a disclaimer that's just so that my legal department is happy, all right? So if this is your first time watching this video, Live Long Digital is not liable for your loss of income or sanity that happens while you're watching this video. And also, the views expressed in here are my own, and they're begged by over 200 entrepreneurial success stories and businesses but that does not mean it's going to happen to you if you don't put in the work, all right? So listen with intent and make up your own mind That's uh, that you should be doing. Oh, that's what you should be doing in the first place, all right? So now that the legalities are out of the way, um, I really have a big question for you, uh, just so that we all know what's going on and um, what actually is happening here. How are you getting your customers? Can you please type in in the comments there, what method are you using to get your customer? Are you cold calling? Are you using uh, social media? Are you using direct mail? Are you just putting them in a bag and beating them up and bringing them to your office? How exactly are you getting your customers? Because that's, that's a very important question and that's very uh, crucial. Uh, so that we know what sort of people we have on here. So, Nicole, you say Facebook groups. All right, are you interacting with the people in the groups or are you um, are you interacting with the people in the groups or how, how are you getting the, the people in, 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 in those groups? And you also say solo ads. Uh, solo ads is when you send out an email um, to a targeted audience or something like that, is it? Let me know how it is that you're doing that. All right. Now, um, Amber Clarice says direct mail email. Email is a really good and powerful thing that you can also use, um, you know, because the people are targeted. It's an audience that you have already, um, you know, curated over time. And they probably came in because they wanted some sort of lead magnet that you possess. So that's pretty cool. Nicole says my call to action is comment below. Okay, so in, in the groups, you ask people to comment below, and when they comment, you then send them a link, or how does that work out? Do you send them something, um, you know, that, that, that is like a lead magnet? How, how does that work out? So you use direct email and sometimes phone calls. Phone calls is a pretty good one. That's a good one. Uh, Steven says word of mouth. Word of mouth is a pretty solid uh, strategy. How are you facilitating that word of mouth? Are you giving people what to say to talk about in a barbecue? How exactly are you doing that? Matthew Smith, thank you so much. So Nicole Smith, you say you private message them. So when somebody Okay, so somebody comments below, like you say, you then send them a message. Is it? Is that how you do it? You send them a message to your landing page or to your, um, uh, what do you call it? Whatever it is that you're probably selling them. Well, all of those uh, ideas and um, strategies are all solid, okay? They're all perfect, and I really appreciate that at least the people that are on here know what it is that I'm about to talk about, and, and they actually are doing, and they're practitioners, all right? You see, because the goal of every marketer or every online business owner is to actually get clients. That's 
pretty much why we are, um, you know, trying all these things, trying to reach out to the customers is to really get customers and get them to pay us for our product. Okay. And um, that sounds very easy and a simple thing to do, but it is actually an $8 billion industry to try and convert clients and, and, and turn them into customers. All right. So, Obviously, as a small uh, business person like yourself and how I've been interacting with Nicole, um, you go out there, you you want to generate more revenue so that you can make your family proud or your parents happy that at least they, um, you know, you know, raised up a winner and you privately want to grow your online business and you cannot do this without um you know using strategies to actually get these customers so i really assume that's the goal and that's what you want for your business and that's probably why you're watching this video if that's why you're watching this video just type in yes so that i know the type of people that are on here okay so vina thank you so much for tuning in i hope you are gonna enjoy this show today but the biggest question now is how do you achieve this goal how do you actually get customers to pay you for your product or your services? Okay. What is it that you should do in order to actually scale and grow that online business? Okay. Because it might sound like it's, it's the easiest thing to do and you don't want to watch this video because maybe it's, it's, it's not important or relevant to you right now. But I've got a question for you. Who is your customer and why should they care for your product? All right, can you type that in the comments there? Who do you think your customer is or who do you want to buy from you? Are they another entrepreneur or are they another business person or are they just a consumer who's going to consume your, your product? I want to know, is your business business to business or is it business to cons consumer? Who has to purchase from you in order for you to make transactions with them? Now, Steven says, um, yeah, show them on social media and show at bot shows not really doing anything properly okay because the thing is steven your product is a um, is an investment all right so you need to give them information so that they know what to want people are coming to the internet to get information they're not just going to make a purchase of a boat today just because they've seen pictures online you gotta give them information as to safety durability or functionality of the boats that you're selling all right steven seaton um, is a boat manufacturer and is a welder so i'm just giving him the tips of how to exactly relate and create for the customers that might purchase from him okay because your product is not a consumable product it is something that somebody has to sleep over and if you're filling up that customer journey of theirs with information so that they know what you're offering so that they get to like you as a supplier and then they can trust that your work is valuable that's how you can actually start making more money and more business with your kind of work all right so you're welcome there steven all right so i know sometimes what people really need is an actionable digital marketing strategy that actually works and is actually proven to get results okay i don't know if you have been hanging around me long enough and have been introduced to the online prosperity blueprint okay today is a friday and if you can excuse me i might just pitch to you at the end of this show obviously all the other shows are just jam-packed with content but at um you know sometimes a brother gotta eat you know all right so when you are actually out there searching for your customers you need to figure out what people really need your product what people really need um, or have a pain that your product or your service can actually solve all right now what payoff or what benefit just like the show we did yesterday are you offering with the service that you're putting out there there's no point in you trying to go and get customers when you don't know what problem you are solving. You need to associate with the right kind of person, with the right kind of pain, so that you offer them your product and it's an easy transaction. Nobody feels threatened, nobody feels sold to, or nobody feels like they don't need to be doing um, you know, business with you because you have aligned that person with the ultimate payoff and or, or showed them that you can solve their pain by actually giving them a product 
All right. So at the end of the day, this is just an amazing, um, you know, little thing that people forget. You are going out there to deal with people. It's people that have veins that have blood going through their, their, their veins. They have feelings. They have emotions. What are you doing to get in front of those people? What are you doing to show them that you are the right kind of person that can solve whatever problem they might have? All right. So now that you've figured out which way, who those people are, you now have to engage them. All right. Not everyone is seeing your things on social media. Not everyone is seeing your ads. You know why? I will give you a specific example. Right now, you've probably been watching this video for about two minutes. In your news feed, there's probably three or five or six or seven ads that are going in there. Now, the person that has created those ads is assuming that you have seen those ads. All right. Now, you are not there. You're not seeing it. You haven't engaged with that ad. Hasn't that person wasted... Um, you know, hasn't that person wasted their ad spend? Of course they have. Brenda, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for sharing this video. I hope you're enjoying, um, you know, your spend there in uh, sunny California. All right. So once you've figured out the people that actually need your product and your service, you now need to figure out how can you engage them. All right. People are now subjected to a lot of um, you know information and content on the internet and their concentration span has just dwindled now what are you doing to actually let these people know that you exist what are you doing to let people know that your name is brett stone and they have to know what it is that you've got to offer all right so at the end of the day there's quite a lot that you gotta do in terms of engaging these people Sometimes the customer is not always right. So how are they going to know that you're the right kind of person who can solve their uh, pain if they don't know that you can engage with them? Okay, so at the end of the day, you now need to educate them on what to want. All right, like what I told uh, Stephen a little bit earlier on, he sells boats. Now, if you're not educating people, how are they going to know what you sell? A lot of entrepreneurs are running out of, you know, steam because and, and they think that um, people are not seeing their content or people are not seeing their stuff. It's because people don't know they exist. If somebody would stop you on the street right now or talk about you on a barbecue on the weekend, what would they say you do? What is it that you actually do and how do people get a hold of your content, your materials, your products, etc.? All right. You need to educate your customers on what to want, especially if you've got an innovative product. Maybe people haven't heard about it before. So it's your prerogative as an entrepreneur to actually engage them and educate them with the content. All right. While you're doing that, you are providing them with value. All right. Now, this whole thing about value is you are paid in accordance to the value that you put into the marketplace. All right. What is it that you are giving out? Because the more you give out, the more you're going to get as well. All right. Because if you're going to gate your content or if you're not going to show people that you can absolutely help them by actually helping them, I don't think you will be winning on the online space. All right. Because as soon as as soon as you are not clear on what it is that you're offering them, as soon as you are not clear on the rewards and the benefits of your products, how are you going to provide value or even inspire that person to think that you can educate them and actually provide them the payoff that they actually want? All right. So it's it's a whole new level of thinking of you're no longer just posting online. You are literally putting stuff to actually engage people on a level that you can show them you are the person that can alleviate their pain. Everybody else is trying to run away from something. They're trying to run away from a certain pain. And if you're an entrepreneur, your duty is to solve that pain for them, solve that problem for them. Okay. And Amber says, can you send us a pic of your layout? Of course I can. If anybody wants a pic of this uh, blueprint, just type in blueprint at the bottom there. I'll definitely send you through a copy of this. All right. Now in the process, do you know how sad everybody else is out there? Do you know how unmotivated 
people are out there. Do you know how, um, you know, you know, d- d- depressed the whole world is right now because either there's terrorism, there's people that are killing each other and all that stuff. You need to be a point of difference in the news feed. All right. You really, really need to be a point of difference in the news feed. I'll give you a practical example. All right. In the news feed, there's, um, you know, stories from Sally. Then there's stories from Donald Trump. Then there's stories about a terrorist who bombed somewhere in Bujumbura. And then there's stories about some person who died in a car crash. All of that is designed to just put you down and your morals down. Now, that's what your customers are experiencing right now. So you want to make sure that your content is uplifting. All right. So let's say these people are walking in, the, in, 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 um, in a desert. Your profile, your content should be an oasis. They come over there, they come to your profile, they're like, hmm. Oh my God, I'll have a sip of this. Oh my God, I will enjoy this because it's positive, it's uplifting, and it's inspirational. All right? Then people get to like you. You know why? Because you are relieving them from the pain that they're seeing in the newsfeed. Before you know it, they now start co- you know, purchasing your items because they just want to associate with that inspiration. People are not motivated anymore. So be the motivation that people really want or people are, are, are searching for on, you know, online. Once you become that person, you know, there's like, you know, you know, there's, there's a bomb going over there. There's nuclear war. You know, Japan is trying to fight with Korea. It's all happening in the newsfeed. But they come onto your newsfeed. You know, they have a sip of a drink. You know, you're fanning them. It's lovely. It's luxurious. You give them, you know, you know, you're giving them massages with all your content. You know why? Because that becomes an inspirational piece. All right. Everybody, everybody bow down for a minute. Wait a minute. Trish has just entered the building. How are you going, my love? (laughs) All right. So if you're actually enjoying this, guys, this um, composition here was designed by my lovely friend Trish. Um, she's a very good graphic designer and she could also help you start scale and grow your business while they're, uh, branding it. All right. And, um, you know, so, so, so pretty much all you're now doing is once you position yourself as the person that can educate people, engage them and provide value, people will start gravitating to your work. People will start wanting to be a part of you. People will start wanting to come and touch the hem. The reason being you are providing content that people don't have anywhere else. You're providing value that's inspirational and you're engaging with them while educating them on what's real and what's not. Lindsay Campbell, thank you so much for tuning in, man. All right. So now that you've got the people, you've got, you've engaged them. Your process now online is to try and convert these people into paying customers. All of this might take years, it might take a day, but you got to make sure that all these things and strategies are in place. Remember, what you're doing is trying to find people who have a pain that you can solve, right? Now, when you are converting these people, all you're doing is solving, you're no longer selling. People like buying stuff, but they don't like to be sold to. Now, can you imagine right now, I'm actually on a sales call with a lot of people and I'm really trying to impart and engage while educating them that I do have a process that they can follow. And if you're interested in getting your copy of this, just type in blueprint at the bottom. I'll definitely be sending you a copy of this and the PDF that comes along with it. All right. So what you are now doing is you're solving people's problems and you're no longer selling. We all hate selling. We all despise of people that knock on our doors, that call us, trying to peddle their products. At the end of the day, how many times do you wish you could just drop kick all those Jehovah Witness people that knock on your door? How many times do you wish you could drop kick all those telemarketers that call you? It's because we don't like being sold to, but we purchase things. We actually buy things for our own enjoyment. All right. But if you have educated people and you've engaged them enough, they no longer feel like they're being sold to. They feel like, 
All you're doing is you're solving their problems and you're no longer selling. It becomes a very enjoyable transaction. And that's the reason why I'm saying at the end of the day, when you are actually you know, doing, being and having a business that's enjoyable, life is so good. Do you know what I mean? All you do is show up and help people. Why? Because all you're doing is really providing people with value and educating them at the same time while inspiring them to be, do and have a life that's worth living. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be, a, a, you know, a strategy that you would implement in your business? Just wake up in the morning, figure out what people do I need to reach out to? How can I solve their pain? And when you know that pain and how you can solve it, you put out the content that actually, you know, ali um, you know aligns with where they are in, in their stage right now and exactly what's going on with their business, right? Every single day I wake up, I really know everyone that is following me or listens to my stuff has certain problems and certain issues that are happening in their business. Is it not true that right now you are trying to find leads? Is it not true that right now you do not have a guaranteed income? Is it not true that right now you do not have a system to follow? Is it not true that right now you don't have a process to follow? Is it not true that right now you're looking for freedom within your business and your own personal life, but you're just tied up to your computer trying to fulfill a lot of tasks? And you're heading nowhere, you're probably alone, you don't have a network. Is it not true that right now you've already spent a lot of money on a lot of courses and what you just really need now is certainty? Is it not true that right now you are, you are looking for a proven system or something that actually works so that you can be, do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable? All right. So once you start knowing your customers at that level, it becomes so easy because what you now know is you're no longer far, you're no longer hunting. You are now just farming because these people you've educated them on what to want. You've engaged them in such a way that they know, like, and trust you. And you do know something, guys. People do business with those they know, like, and trust. All right. It's a truth universally known. What are you doing to put? you know, people's minds at ease that you're the person that can solve their pain and give them a payoff that actually can be done by your product. Are you putting out content to actually engage them so that they get to know you? Because people need to see your stuff at least six to eight times. Did you know that fact? Yeah, people need to engage with your stuff or see your ads at least six to eight times. But you're not going to be there to do it every single day. So that's where your content comes in. Content may be a status. Content may be video. Content may be this Facebook Live. Content may be a podcast. Anything that connects you providing value to a customer so that they can consume at their own time. Because right now people are busy. Somebody right now is probably watching and they're sitting on a bus. Somebody right now is probably watching and they're eating their dinner. Somebody right now, they're probably watching and they were just hanging on to this show before they go to bed. Somebody right now is probably sitting on the toilet. People are not waiting for your stuff to come through the newsfeed. So you got to be intentional about how you educate them, how you provide them with value and the content so that they get to know, like and trust you. All right. The power of you getting your next customers lies in the fact that you actually know what calls to action to give them. You know how Sally is going to respond to your content. You know how Sally is going to respond to your ad. How do you know that? Because you've spent the time figuring out what the people want, what their pain is, and what their product is. I'll give you a, a, a very, you know, real life example. All right. I've got a two year old uh, daughter. The things she's starting to like now is things like Nemo, um, anything that's got princesses in there, anything that's got, you know, luxurious beauty and, and stuff like that. But if you are a toy manufacturer and you start selling me things like Robocop, Spider-Man or Superman, 
I'm not your customer. It's because you haven't taken the time to study me or engage me to find out what exactly do I want. Not everyone is your customer. All right. Even if your 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 avatar or your your person that you are trying to reach out to is probably a 26 year old female that. Um, you know, you're a, a female that's within the age group of 26 to 35. I want to show you how vague that is in today's terms. Okay, a 26 year old could be a career lady who is actually really trying to aspire to be the manager in her business. Or we could have a 26 year old who's got two kids and is a stay at home mom. Are they not all female? Are they not all uh, 26? All right. So you got to be very specific as to who do you want to sell to and why should they care about your product? The way you do that to differentiate the people that are going to waste your time and the people that are going to actually purchase is through content, providing value and actually reaching out and knowing what calls to action to put them out to put out there so that they can actually start working and dealing with your business. All right. So at the end of the day, we might be throwing out ads there. We might be throwing out content. But if we're not specific about the people we're trying to reach out to, what pain we're solving and what payoff or rewards they're going to get, we're losing the whole point. And I see Tina has just tuned in. Thank you so much for tuning in. Tina is the lady of clarity for those people that really want to know how to you know, just have a projection of their future and everything else that works and comes along with it. Contact Tina in the, in the, in the comments there. She'll help you with a lot of clarity. Okay. Cause she's helped me as well. All right. Now, Rebecca says, yes, calls to action. I need to do more test and measure on CTAs. Talking about testing and measuring. Look at this, Rebecca, um, Rebecca measure and track. All right. Once you have figured out who your people are, once you've figured out what pain they have, all you're doing is trying to put out the, the calls to action that they respond to. You measure that and you track that. There are so many tools that can show you that you're actually doing the right thing. There are so many things that can show you that you're, you're reaching the right audience and you actually really get more by um, you know, knowing the people that you're trying to reach out to. It opens up your mind clarity and people don't get confused as to how can you actually solve their pain and give them what pay off. All right. And if this is the first time just tuning in, if you want a copy of this blueprint, just type in blueprint. I'm more than happy to, to um, give it up to you so that you can also start scale and grow a business that's profitable and enjoyable. This whole thing is meant to be simple. We just go ahead and complicate things by looking for the next shiny object. The fundamentals are pretty much the same. You really got to have a message that goes to a market. The media can always vary. Okay. The media could always change. And once you've got all of these things in, in place, you've got the right kind of people, you've engaged them, you've given them the right calls to action. You no longer have to repeat yourself. You now start creating relationships with your customers. Do you know it's actually cheaper to sell to somebody who has had interactions with you than to try and find somebody else who's never heard about you? All right. You now start getting referrals and you're branding your business in the process. You create a community around your product and people start selling for you. Now, Stephen, we now go back to that aspect of yours saying there's word of mouth. Once there's a community around your product, People will defend you online. People will align with your products. People will just definitely, um, you know, talk about you at a barbecue or at a network um, event where people are going to be um, hanging around that are your potential customers. All right. So essentially, you now have built authority. You now have authority within your niche. All right. Everybody else is just jumping on trying to be an authority or be an expert. But there's a way and a formula and a process that you've got to do. Find the people that are aligned with whatever you're doing. Create content for them while you engage in them. Sell to them so that they can validate your processes and your products. And then create a community and become an authority. All right. I've been laboring with this um, 
blueprint for for ages now now if you want a copy of this just type in blueprint so that um you know i can give you a copy of this and it also comes with a pdf that literally explains this sorry trish i know she she printed out another one but then i know this is flipped um so at the end of the day what you really really need to do find the right kind of people with the right kind of pain engage them convert them and get your authority it is that simple guys this is gonna be no it's not the last one okay it's the last video for the week um obviously we're going into the weekend and i'm probably taking my family away i'm not sure if they're gonna allow me these days i just goes by what my wife says but um if you're in australia on monday uh i think it's the 21st on channel 9 my episode is going to be showing on this time next year so i think it's on channel 9 run about um 7 p.m or something like that look it up online or i will just um let you guys know so this is where you're gonna hear part of my journey part of my process i just did not come up with this i just did not you know rock up on the internet space and then just started talking about this blueprint there has been a process this is tried and proven and if you really want to see results and how people are actually benefiting there's an album that um there's a there's an album that's um in my profile that says results and testimonials please have a look at that and see what other people are saying about this blueprint and how we can actually help you start scale and grow your business also it's about to be september guys so september i'll be taking on a few people that want to work one-on-one -on -one with me and if this is something that you really want to consider just send me a direct message we'll see where you are we'll see um if we um can work together i have made a lot of people a lot of money including myself i want you to earn more money with less struggle and i really want you to be recognized within your own industry that you actually love I want you to attract and get the right opportunities within your work. Let me tell you something. You've been working all this time. It's time for you to actually start getting recognized for your work, for all the effort that you've been doing. Let me be the one to help you do that. Type in Blueprint so that you can have a copy of what we've been talking about today. I'm also throwing in the PDF. I think it's got about, I don't know, 24 pages that actually explains it a little bit better than I did today. But in the meantime, I want you to go out there, leave love and actually do make a profit with what you've been doing. Because one thing that you might not realize is your life story and your experience have more monetary value than you could ever, ever think of. All right. You're here to make a difference in the world. And, you know, the best way you can actually do is to package your knowledge, package all the wisdom and the advice that you might have to create a profoundly meaningful life and a profoundly meaningful business. I want you to win. I really want you to win and I want to see you at the top. In the meantime, go and have a smashing weekend. I will see you guys on Monday. And if you're in Australia, don't forget to tune into my episode. You'll get a glimpse of um, where I came from and why this is so important for me to see other people winning. Thank you so much for tuning in and please share this. Type in you've shared if you've shared this so that I will um, just know who amongst my people is um, really uh, appreciating what we're doing. All said and done. This has been a fantastic week financially for me, um, you know, privately with my family and all that stuff. It's all, um, you know, thanks to you guys for your lovely support and everything else that comes along with it. If I can be of help, don't forget that the online strategy. Oh, online prosperity strategies is in your corner. Thank you so much, guys. Have a fantastic weekend.